uh, joining me today is Kayla William. Uh, we're just heading back into the Haringies. Um, it's just the middle of school holidays of last week, so we're heading for it be a night or two, and hopefully we can see a couple of deer and be really good to get a deer on deck this time. So we've got about um, an hour and a half walk today, and then we'll be sitting in an OP for the next couple of days. We'll get you shortly. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Too many things going on. I can't keep track of them all. From people dropping a bomb to people putting up walls. I feel like. We are team, so uh, arrived at our um, OP at around about 10 o'clock, so it's about three hours on the move. Um, car park, did about 20 minutes of glass and coming here. Uh, so, Kayla and William, they're both uh, going to have a bit of sleep now, they're up quite early this morning, and um, we just popped over into the lee of the hill just trying to get out of the wind a bit. Um, yeah, the wind's supposed to change a little bit later at the moment. Oh, the weather's okay, it's quite cool, I reckon it's only about 5 degrees, uh, a bit of a strong wind, but yeah. Interesting enough, when coming in here today, we had uh, a young pig right down at our feet actually, it's probably about, maybe maximum about 2 feet away from her, could have pounced on it, but I had my hands full and yeah, it's only a tiny baby one, so I just left it. The afternoon goes by, the only thing that's sharp at this stage, and it's uh, 2.30, um, as a billy goat, so pretty disappointed at the moment. Um, a bit of wind coming from about one o'clock, so I'm guessing that's about 12 or 15 mile an hour. And um, currently, we've got um, GoPro, not GoPro, the um, gun set up for a clearing just down there, so it's all ready to doll. Yeah, so. Um, Goat was way up in here, about 700 yards. And yeah, we've got a clearing oh, somewhere over over here. The bottom of the tree line is about 860 yards. So, hoping something walks out there a little bit later. The wind's supposed to go a little bit more southerly. Oh, God, it's really southerly at the moment, but yeah, it's supposed to die off a little bit towards evening. So, hopefully, something walks out and we can um, send a pill down range. Right, first day of the day. Seven 
24 yards. Mills up right to point three. Team, um, I can't see where the bullet's gone in the footage. Um, so flip and gut it like I normally group size an iPhone at just under 700 yards, and it was just under 800 yards. But it's the brakes, it's the um, fun of long range hunting. So uh, yeah, that was a good clean pull. Um, scope was level. Wind is coming from one o'clock, so it's not like it's a huge wind hold. There's only 0.3 of a mil. Audio team, so on close inspection of the gun, um, our rings have got a uh, bubble in them. So I'm going to put the gun level. The uh, sights are on uh, quite an angle off to one side. so. I don't know how I didn't pick it up for starters, but I didn't. But uh, yeah, we're gonna call the hunt on out. There's no point staying, uh, staying bush and just expanding around. So we just need to get the gun back to the gun shop and find out what the hell's going on. So yeah, a bit of a disappointment, but it uh, is what it is. It's like that's uh, hunting and it's life. So. Look, great day to be out in the bush, having a bit of fun, and we'll be back again sometime shortly.